stage, really. Anyway, just when you thought that you'd got rid of her ilk, Miguel has, she's piped up again, hasn't she? To warn that Britain will see a new crippling COVID wave this month because of four Omicron variants that are, quote, all increasing rapidly. Have a day off, honestly. Miguel said, it's not a surprise that we have a new wave. We can see in this data. What's happened is that people don't want to look and we're kind of closing our eyes to it. Well, I'm sorry, but I can't remember any time the last time I knew anyone who tested positive for coronavirus anyway. But, Christina, it's not that our eyes are closed to runny noses and sniffles. No, it's that unlike you and your strange virus-obsessed buddies at Independent Sage, we've learned to live with COVID. We've moved on. And I'm joined, of course, by Carol Zakura. Carol, why don't these COVID hysterics just get over themselves, Carol, move on if they want to shackle themselves to their own radiator, let them do it. it it's self-replicating, Patrick. People make a career out of predicting doom and gloom. That's the problem we've got. Um, you know, it's gone. And, you know, if you look at all the data, you look at the summary every day at four o'clock, it appears on, on the government website, the summary of covid 128 people on ventilators, that's it. Yeah. You know, 141,000 beds in the NHS and 128. Most of these people would be on ventilators with or without COVID. They've got other problems with them. That is the key. Yeah. And we, we, the trouble is the power of the epidemiologists, the virologists is all gone now because people have moved on. People but have moved on. And pe people, have, people, people have moved on. You're absolutely right. We're getting on with our lives and we have to, and not just because of the cost of living crisis as well. But talk to me about these, these four supposed Omicron variants. Then. So why don't we have to worry about them? We, we, because it's not causing serious illness. That's the key. Uh -huh. And it's nothing to do with vaccination. You know, the vaccines have waned. I mean, my last vaccine was nearly a year ago. When yeah, I I'm not having another one. So it, it, it's not relevant anymore. It has moved on. And, you know, when you go traveling in the world, different countries are approaching it in different ways. Some are still wanting masks, wanting COVID passes and so on when you go to a restaurant. But here in most of mainland Europe and Britain, We've got rid of it all. So let's just move on. And, you know, what we can't afford are things like cancer, which is my specialty, heart yep. disease, you know, all these things to suffer because of the COVID doom mongers, which, uh, you know, unfortunately, there are those around that do that. Yeah.